Hello, Aquarius. I am going to do a future love reading for you. Um, this is a general read. It will not resonate for everybody. So check your other placements, sun, moon, rising, Venus, cross watchers. Welcome. Um, if you want to book a personal reading, I'm doing $10 off right now. You just shoot me an email that is in the description box below. Also, um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Also, if you comment hashtag free tarot in the comments section, I will enter you to win a personal reading. I'm giving away one a week. Winners are drawn at random. I'll announce on Sunday. Um, I posted the winner for that in just a little video that I did this morning. This is Sunday when I'm recording this. What else? I think that's it. Um, I'm going to lay this spread out and then we'll kind of go through the cards and I'll clarify. Um, so what is coming in for Aquarius? Future love reading. Who is coming in? What's up for Aquarius? All right, let's do it. The devil, bottom of the deck. All right. So this first card out is what's gone on in the recent past with this person, King of Cups. They could be a water sign. They could be, have dealt with a water sign um, in the energy of this King of Cups. What is, what are they doing right now? What's their energy right now with this person? A new beginning. A solid new beginning, something tangible that you can build on, right? Um, what's on their mind? Three of Cups, their happiness, I feel like. Okay, what will they think of you, the Three of Wands? How will they feel about you, the Eight of Cups? How will they feel about moving forward with you, Queen of Cups? So there's a pair on the board already. Something um, hidden that you don't see coming in with this person, the Four of Pentacles. We have advice from Spirit right here, the Queen of Pentacles, and potential outcome, the Five of Swords. All right, don't stress. The Devil, bottom of the deck. I haven't had a negative reading yet, so I'm going to just keep moving forward with that energy. So the King of Cups in the recent past. What is this King of Cups? For Aquarius, the recent past for this next, the emperor. I feel like this person is taking charge of um, their emotions, how they feel, um, ready to boss up and make some changes. Yeah, they're looking for a partner. They've been married before, probably, but right now they're they're just they just want a new beginning. They want a fresh slate. They want a new beginning with this Ace of Pentacles, right? The Hanged Man. They are um, trying to see, you know, trying to see all perspectives, looking around in you know different places than normal. This may be a person who um, you know doesn't go out a lot, but they're exploring other avenues, other other perspectives. Other, other ways of, of, you know, finding someone, five of cups, you know, they may have, the, I feel like this person, um, they're in the energy of this king of cups, right? Um, they're trying to master their emotions. They're trying to understand what's happened in the past so that they don't make those same mistakes, see, seeing things from a new perspective, right? They don't want to end up, you know, lost in love or lonely in love anymore. They want happiness with this three of cups. They want happiness. That's what's on their mind. They want to find their person. They want somebody that they can have fun with, somebody that understands them, somebody that, you know, that has the same interests, two of pentacles. They're really weighing their options right now. I feel like they're just looking in different places than they used to. It's maybe, like I said, this may be somebody who doesn't go out to the bars anymore and is just, you know, looking for a different kind of person maybe than they've had in the past. Judgment, making some big decisions about what they really want, exploring what they really want, what really will make them happy. So how they see you is this three of wands, right? This is like, what they'll think about you. Um, I feel like they're thinking that, I mean, usually this is a card talking about our ships coming in, right? But this is also our, our decisions and our choices paying off. 
So I think that when they meet you, they're going to think, wow, you know, this is, this is, you know, this is great. This person is, is, you know, something different maybe than I normally would date or that I would normally meet, especially if they're not meeting people in the same place as they were. Right. The high priestess, they may think of, of you as somebody they wouldn't even normally talk to, but I think that this is going to yield good results for them. They may see you as, as secretive, but I don't think that's a bad thing. They see you as a strong person. There's an unspoken connection here. So how will they feel about you? The Eight of Cups. Now, this can be, I mean, this person doesn't want to walk away from you. Um. This person may very well see you as the two of cups they've been looking for because the eight of cups energy is about um, moving on to find that two of cups, right? Walking away from those past cups in search of a two of cups, right? And the devil. <laughs> have the devil over here on the bottom. Oh, I just laugh because this card has kind of plagued me today a little bit. But I see this as a very intense connection, right out like right from the start. Kind of feisty and passionate, lusty. May not have been expecting that. But it's paying off. This different route that they've taken to meet people, to find people, is paying off for them. So how will they feel about moving forward? We have this queen of cups really in their feels about it, really wanting to move forward, you know, having emotions maybe they didn't expect to have, but they're there. Yeah. Wanting to go ahead and offer you that cup. There we go. Strong soul tie here. So something um, unexpected that you didn't see, we have this, we have this four of pentacles. This person could be kind of a Scrooge, tight with their money. Um, seven of cups. This person may be going through a job change even. They may recently have, have gotten a new job. Yeah, look at that. I was... Uh, they, yeah, they may be, they may be like in a whole new job situation. Okay. So advice from spirit, queen of pentacles. I feel like, you know, this is the universe saying this is, this could be a person you could build a life with, right? Taking that leap of faith, planting this, planting this pentacle that was up here and now shows up here and in the hands of this queen of pentacles, planning that, having it grow into something you know, something really beautiful, this opportunity that's given by the universe to take this leap of faith, to have this relationship and justice, something fair and balanced. So potential outcome, we have the five of swords. Fives and tarot are about change. This person may really be disconnecting from, you know, a lot of things that they went through or did or whatever in the past, especially if they're taking, you know, if they're just doing new things, trying to not really reinvent themselves, but you know, find things that that fulfill them and make them happy um, and doing that in a different way than they did in the past to yield different results, right? Disconnecting from people in the past and events in the past, places in the past, wanting to move forward, wanting a win, right? Yeah, new beginning. I mean, we've got three aces on the board now, so that's pretty darn good. But this person is just, you know, moving away from old patterns and relationships and behaviors. Looking for something new. They're going to get in your head, maybe even under your skin. They might frustrate you. Like, they might be a frustrating, and the five of, the five of swords. They may really be like a go-getter. They could even be um, somebody who works a lot. 
that could be what this is. That may be something that you have to deal with, right? But they're ready for a new beginning. This is, you know, divine timing is at play. This is something the universe has brought right to them, especially with this four of wands, right? You may have some issues to work to work um, with uh, bleh, bleh, to work on. Lord have mercy, right? But you you two are making choices together for the future, planting seeds. Um, that are coming to fruition and finding that balance, that equal reciprocity. This per this your person. I don't know what to tell you. This is one that's going to require work and energy, and you know conversations. You know you're going to have to be. You know tell them how you feel. Tell them what you want. This person may really be um, like if they're starting something new that's making a lot of money, they may be somebody who works too much. And that may be some one of the things that you have to work or have to deal with. But they're going to make you happy. I mean, it's going to be a good thing. All right. That's what I have for you, Aquarius. I'm sending you tons of love and light. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Hashtag free tarot. Also, if you want to book a personal reading, um, my email is in the description box below. And in the meantime, I'm sending tons of love and light. Have a great day, guys.